we're gonna go to run out this death right and hope that we rip one of our fetches off the top because if we do uh, turn two Liliana is very very good against them so not a turn two Liliana but it is a turn three Liliana um, go ahead and thought seize this bro Alright, I gotta write this down. Got worm coil slaughter games. That I do not agree with bringing that in against me. Why would you bring in slaughter games? Ancient stirrings, ancient stirrings. Uh scrying and a power plant. Uh, so the worm coil is one of the more dangerous cards, I guess, because uh, it's really the only action he has. But if we hit his Sylvan Scrying, because he really needs to assemble Tron before he does anything. And he may not have a Tron land in the top five cards, which is kind of unlikely. I mean, usually you see a Tron land, but I think I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, the Sylvan Scrying here because he wants to play his Grove, go Sylvan Scrying for Urza's Mine, um, where if he casts Ancient Stirrings and just finds like a Chromatic Star or like a Karn or something, uh, then he's not very well on his way to assembling his Tron. So I'm going to go ahead and take Sylvan Scrying here and run out uh, Raging Ravine so we can play our Liliana next turn and get in there! I mean, he'll probably hit one of his Tron pieces here. Like, Ancient Sternings is a very good card and... and <laughs> okay, good. And Star and say go. Um, hmm. I think I just want to play the Black Cleave here, because next turn I can play the Fetch Land and then activate my Ravine. Um, the argument for playing the Marsh Flats here is that I could exile the land. With, um, or I... <clears throat> no, that's, that's a shitty argument. Never mind. I have to discard a card too, and it's going to be, be the Marsh Flat, so. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. I was trying to think of um, cute ways of using that fetch land, so. I guess he brought in Slaughter Game so he could discard it to Liliana. This is a sideboard error on his part. You should not bring slaughter games in against uh, against John. Like if that's his answer to uh, sowing salt, that's just not good. Because we play our sowing salt before he even plays his slaughter games with deathrite shaman. So and especially since I'm on the play, so even if I didn't have deathrite shaman, I would curve out before he did. Got kind of lucky on his draws there. Hey. Um, he had a power plant in his hand, so I'm going to go ahead and sewing salt that power plant. Um, make him discard first, I guess. And discard the Liliana. If I had ripped the land there, I probably would have just made him discard and then played my second Liliana and made him discard again. Um, after playing my land, of course, but I'm going to go ahead and pitch this to Liliana so he doesn't know he's getting so insulted.
Oh, you know it's coming, boy. power plant out of his hand. So he has uh, Relic and Worm Coil left. Let me write that down. Uh, get rid of that. Make sure all those are exiled. And let's see what he brought in. So he brought in three Slaughter Games. Not not a fan of his decision on that, as I've already made quite clear. He does have Emrakul, Ghost Quarter, that's adorable. Three Oblivion Stone. Pretty typical Tron. So he signed out Relics? See, I don't get that, because Relic is a really good card against us. It, like, makes our Goyfs tiny, it makes it so our Death Rites can't exile things. Makes it so Scavenging Ooze can't exile things. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but that was just a bad choice. Doesn't have any lands, no. So yeah, just cast that. I'm gonna go ahead and exile one of his sorceries now with the Death Ray Shaman. Because if I wait until I pass turn, then he can pop Relic in response, and he doesn't take the two damage. Coil. Okay. Uh, we'll get rid of your ancient stirrings. Go ahead. I guess he wasn't casting that card. Hey, my brother's online. He may call me here. I was emailing him earlier about From the Vaults, because uh, it goes on sale tomorrow. It was so sketchy how they said it. They said it was going on sale tomorrow around 10 a.m., and then I asked them how long it was going to be up for, and they said a very, with, like, quotations around very limited time. And I was like, that doesn't tell me anything. Like, what is around 10 a.m., and what does a very short amount of time, or a very limited amount of time mean? Like, does that mean it's going to be, like, 9.38, and it'll be on sale for, like, two minutes, or... <laughs> definitely don't want to pop my Liliana there. Um, I want to at least get her up to 7 before I uh, make her go boom. Yeah, dude, I don't care about my death rights. Hopefully he finds a card here that he can... Uh, he'll find a card he can play. If he, if he finds, like, Karn or something, like, that's the only colorless card that'd be sweet, because then he has to discard it to Lily. Pyroclasm. Or Pyroclasm. That's fine. Oh wait, how did that pyroclasm get in the graveyard? 